Nope, not an April Fool's joke, or indeed a January Fool's joke, but it's Hurricane Alex, with winds of 85 miles an hour and a pressure of 981 millibars, moving north-northeast at 20 miles an hour. Position 31.5 degrees north, 28.4 degrees west, as of 3 p.m. UTC, January the 14th, and is on approach to the Azores, where it could batter those islands with hurricane force winds. Tropical hurricane at that, the first storm to do this since 1938. In the month of January of course. Um, the storm is expected to move towards the north passing through the islands as I mentioned and then shortly after that it will turn post-tropical as it heads towards the far north Atlantic and may strike the coast of southern Greenland as an extra tropical storm. Certainly won't be a hurricane by then I can tell you that. Um, it's certainly been a possibility for the whole time um, but no one thought it would happen. Hurricane Alex is now with us. So let's take a look at the warnings. Um, not all of the Azores are under hurricane warnings, but a large chunk of them are. The easternmost islands of São Miguel and Santa Maria are under tropical storm warnings. Um, that includes the main city there, Ponta Delgada, the westernmost islands under a hurricane warning. And that is something that really should be taken seriously if your if your interests lie in the Azores, um, because. Hurricane force winds are definitely a possibility just because this storm has formed in January does not mean that it would be any less potent than if this storm had formed here at any other time of year. Sea surface temperatures are very low indeed, barely 20 Celsius. Um, because of the nature of Alex, it somehow managed to become a hurricane even despite these temperatures. Of course, the threshold for tropical cyclone development is 26 degrees, and that threshold lies way down there near Africa, uh, near, the, um, near the tropical area of Africa, that is. Um, looking at the wind shear map, you can see very high shear around the storm, but not where it actually is, moderate around the storm. Um, but that is probably going to increase as it heads towards the north. Dry air hanging towards the western side of the storm. You'll see that better on the floater imagery shortly. Um, but Alex itself not looking too bad at all. Here's the computer models. This is what the track forecast is. It's pretty tight knit actually. Um, it looks like a pretty confident forecast that the storm is going to pass through the central islands of the Azores, uh, possibly making a landfall or two, and then moving back towards out to sea towards the north. Um, and that was its intensity forecast, but obviously it's defied even that from 6 or 12 hours ago whenever that model run went out and has become a hurricane, so ignore that. Hurricane force winds are definitely a possibility, if not a probability, for the central islands of the Azores. Here's the latest satellite imagery, how the storm's been developing. Um, and it still has one or two little question marks about whether it's subtropical or not but certainly the eye is there to, to be seen and um, appears to be um, the first hurricane of 2016 that's certainly become official by the National Hurricane Center if um, if anything you can see the dry air there marked in yellow on the left hand side there briefly um, and it remains to be seen what the storm will do after this and whether it will retain hurricane strength for um, for a large amount of time, at least enough to take it over the Azores. Around the world, not much else is going on in the Western Pacific at least, or indeed the Indian Ocean. Everything is going on in the Western Hemisphere where we have obviously Alex, uh, which you'll see in a moment just off the north of the screen there, and over towards the left hand side you'll see Pali I think, which has weakened to a tropical depression in the Central Pacific. You just saw the edge of it there, and um, as we retreat back to Alex, there it is on the image there. Around the world, this becomes storm number two for 2016 and hurricane number two as well. Um, a long way to go to get to 1977, which is currently the lowest season with 70. Um, this start is not the quickest um, in 2016. Obviously, the Southern Hemisphere is usually active at this time. It isn't right now, remarkably. Um, and we are behind several years already. Uh, with just the two storms, but there's a long way to go. You can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets, the website force13.com, the main place to be for all the goings on around the world storm-wise, including our tracker. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text. You can also add me on Skype, the name is Fool13, F O O L 1 3 for tropical weather chat and to join our discussion group. We're also going live very soon indeed. We're going to commence rolling coverage on Alex in just over an hour from the time of this broadcast. That will be at 4 p.m. UTC, January the 14th. That's 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 12 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. That's all for now. <laughs>